Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday, it's the end of another week. It's the 27th of August and we have got a few mods. We have got some updates. Uh, the map, uh, Mazavieka Nazina version 2 by Krasek. Says it's had an update. I think that might be new to console. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a map tour on it either. Because, I'll be totally honest with you, it's 402 or 400 megabytes, thereabouts. The list of required mods is as long as my arm. It's crazy. So whilst the map itself may only be 400, when you add on all of those, that's going to bring it right up. Assuming, of course, they auto-upload, auto-download. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I will. I might do. We shall see. Uh, the map Estancia Sao Carlos by Dayton Enrique. The Lizard Famed Chisel Pack by KRKZ Modding. The John Deere 7000 Series by Senior Vertex Markin Miyoto Modding Holtz ML. And the John Deere 520 Flail Mower by A-Dub Modding, Perma Modding, ABP Team, Pascal123 and FS Modding. That one uh, originally was a mower but didn't leave grass behind. I think part of the update of that one today is that it now leaves grass behind. New version drops grass. Um, they have all been updated today. The old big building. That's what's in front of me. This by Matish Mods. It is 6.82 megabytes download, 14 slots on console. It is seasons ready. We've got a sort of carport overhang with the requisite ivy on the side. Uh, nicely detailed and textured, bit of weathering and stuff on there as well. Three door entry on the main section here. Each one being drive through if you want them to be. Light switch is here in the middle. Actually, middle, offset a little bit. But again. Nice detail on the wooden beams and construction inside. And then we've got an open section at the end here, which is also sort of drive through with an open section there. When you turn the lights on from in there, the lights under here turn on too. Quite a large building. You'll need quite a flat area to put it down or you're going to incur landscaping fees. But you'll find this under placeables and sheds. 45 grand slot count will go down from 14 to 1. Next to that, we'll have a look at this one, because this is the next mod. This is the Solar Shed. The Solar Shed is by ADAB Modding, ABP Team and Whiteboard Modding. 4.3 megabytes download, 6 slots on console, which drops down to 1. As you can see there, it says 60 per hour. Because this has solar panels on the roof of this shed, it will pay out 90 on easy, 60 on normal, and 30 on hard. It is also seasons ready, you will get snow on the roof and that's the building just over here so the panels all across the top a few sections for vehicles pallets bales whatever you want hayloft section above there this isn't a silage clamp as you go into it it is storage for crops or vehicles or again whatever you want to put under there but it doesn't have a uh, compaction capacity or anything like that another nicely made built mod these construction these type designs always remind me of like swiss buildings like swiss alp type things uh don't know why well, i don't know why because that's what they look like but there you go uh that's the solar shed by adab modding abp team and white ball modding moving on oh yeah from there we have this. This is the Sovi XR4000. Uh, this is by Calarga Modding Design. 10.86 megabytes download. Eight slots on console. It's a four meter wide cultivator. It is showing on console as lizard, but it's down on the on the mod hub as Sovi. Uh, very nicely detailed and designed. Loads going on here with all the bolt heads and springs and yeah. There are a couple of options available. I've gone for one of each, just so you can see the cage roller and I can't remember the name of that one is now. But we'll see that in just a second. 
in the Mods Hub. Unfortunately, for the three metre aficionados, we're not ending the week on a high. It's a four. I hope that's okay with everybody. Uh, four metre cultivator, which you'll find under tools and cultivators. 22 grand requires 250 horsepower pull, will run at nine miles per hour. On the back, we have warning signs as standard, so you can have those yes or no. If you don't want those on there, take them off. And then we've got tubular roll or V roll. Oh, because each one of them is in shape to the V. I think that's what it's all about. Those are your options. And it should. Oh, like that. That's cool. Cultivate up to four metres. My sound animation does exactly what it should do. It does have lights on it as well and indicators. 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 Fantastic. Sovi XR4000 by Calaroga Modding Design. Next. We've got this little beauty. This is the case IH Luxum. This is by Blower. 19.27 megabytes, 15 slots on console. This is a very nice mod. Really nicely made. Really nicely detailed. It's got a lovely sound to it as well. I've gone for the narrow twins on this one because I just thought it looked cool. We will have a look at all the various options. I just like I like the look of it. It's very nice. So under small tractors. Seventy seven grand for the base model. Slot count comes down from 15 to 1 for any subsequent one you have. We can change the rim colour to anything on there. So we've got the standard black, white or communal. Main colour, same options. The design colour, that grill on the front, it changes that. So we can go for black, silver or matching up if you want to. Gonna go with black. I think it looks quite nice. Then on the front we've got a front weight 440 kilogram or front hydraulic. Those are the two options on there. Then for tyres we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokian, and back. Under Trelleborg we've got standard, we've got wheel weights, we've got wides, wides and weights, rear twins, twins, narrows, narrow twins, back to standard. Under Michelin, we've got standard, wheel weights, wides, widen weights, rear twins, twins, back to standard. Under Nokian, just communal, there's no other options available on there. Then if you've gone for the front three-point link, you can have it with or without a PTO. As far as engine size goes, we've got a 99 horsepower, 107 horsepower, 117 horsepower. Those are the three engine options. Beacon lights, no. Left, right, both or off. Front loader attacher, stall or hower or off. Let's hop in. I like the sound of that. Lights, beacons, I don't always show the indicators on the vehicles, but indicators, uh, horn, then we do have L1, R1 and left stick, so left stick side to side, so L1, R1 and left stick side to side opens and closes the door, and then L1, R1 and right stick, it's up and down, does the rear window. Those are your options, left door, rear window, interior, very nicely designed, loads of detail in here, I think we do have seat suspension, yes we do, very nice mod by Blower, the case IH Luxem.
Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today and indeed this week. And it's this. It's a Fergie Friday. This is the Massey Ferguson 1200 and 1250 by Peter J. 6.81 megabytes download, 6 slots on console. On the uh, mod hub on the, and on the description, there's a load of information about the uh, 1200. was introduced in 1972. Four-wheel drive, all four wheels the same size. Most of their competitors had just made original tractors into four-wheel drive. This was specifically made to be a four-wheel drive. And then in 1980, they released the 1250, which had large range and kept all of the good qualities of the original 1200 and then uprated to the 1250. It's a nice mod. A few different options available on this. As you can see, we've got a forestry one here in the middle. And that forestry one comes with a dozer blade as well. If you want to do a bit of forestry. Price isn't too expensive. Slot count and megabyte download is pretty good. And again, really nicely detailed mods these. Peter J's tractors always have been. I mean, the ones that were on 17 were amazing. And the ones on 19 have been just the same, you know. Uh, very, very good at what he does. So, also under small tractors. On the end then, 1200 and 1250. Start price 29,700. Can't be that, can you? We've got the choice of Michelin. Trelleborg, Mitres, or Nokians. The Nokians are communal, standard, there's no other options. Then we've got Olisfors, so if you want to go for uh, like a forestry or sort of snow grip type thing, with a Pro Grip U. Under Michelin, then we've got standard, inverted, let me just check here. Then we've got, oh yeah, PAVT rims. Now they don't actually operate, what they're supposed to do is the, the wheel is adjusted around the rim and adjust the actual wheel track. But that's, I think, as far as I can tell, it's just for looks. And then we've got a wide track, wide tyres, twins, back to standard. And a trailer board, we've got standard, wides, flotation, twins, narrows, back to standard. So we've covered all the bases here. Uh, and then mitres, it's just flotation tyres. They do look quite cool as well. So a few different options to be looking at for tyres. Then design, we've got standard. Or with front blade. So you've got standard or for the forestry version, if you wish. Then beacon configuration, we've got left, right, centre. And then engine setup, we've got the 1200, which is 105 horsepower. We've got the 1250 at 112, or, what did I say, 105 horsepower. The 1250 at 112 horsepower. And the 1250 turbo which, as you can see, changes a few things. If we go back to the 1200, we've got the Massive Ferguson 1200 decals on it. If we go for the 1250, it changes the decals, but we've still got the exhaust and stuff where it is. If we go for the 1250 Turbo, we get stainless, and it all, uh, yeah, looks a little bit more, a little bit more fruity. So, those are the options. Let's hop in. It doesn't really matter which one we hop in. I like this because it's it is an articulated tractor. It hasn't got a massive horsepower, but it's still small enough that you can kind of you know you can get it around smaller maps, narrow roads, that kind of thing. I don't know, I just I like it. That's that's just me. Uh, options available are oh, actually now. What we will do is we'll jump in the forestry one just a second because one of the options there. It's saying S1, that's because I've got my SATEC panel plugged into my PlayStation. If I press for my PlayStation controls now, L1, right stick up and down, does your dozer blade. So if you want to push logs around, that kind of thing, maybe even crops, you might get a bit of snow movement with that as well, but it's designed primarily for logs, really, on a forestry version. So that does that. I don't think we've got any doors or windows. Horn. Lights. That one's got the centre beacon. I think I went for left beacons on the other ones. Interior on this one, obviously, because you've got the cage, the forestry cage. It feels a little bit kind of claustrophobic and closed in on the forestry version, but nice detailing on all the dials. Then what we'll do, we'll jump in the other one so we can see a bit more clearly what the view looks like. You haven't got the forestry cage on. 
it looks still a bit like that. Now, something I will point out at this point is mirrors aren't working, don't appear to be working on all, all the versions I've got. I mean, you can, do you notice when I went turned there? If I turn, look at the right hand mirror now, you can kind of see they just seem a bit dulled down. I don't know if that's because of the windows. They just didn't seem as shiny mirror wise. I mean, I suppose technically they are working. They just seemed a little bit greyed to me. Uh, but other than that, lovely mod, lovely tractor, nice options. A nice way to end the week. And end the week we have. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, have a fantastic weekend. And thanks for watching.